este password? Finding your way around registrations, emails, passwords, and the like can be tricky for anyone. We have a stack. Oh, no. <laughs> When you have limited computer experience and a language barrier, este? sí. the experience can be overwhelming. Our families, you know, come from all different places. DCSD families like Augustina and her two children, ages 11 and 10. <laughs> they speak more English than Spanish. It's a situation that makes it hard for Augustina to be engaged with her kids' school, Infinity Campus. let alone getting them registered. <laughs> Thankfully, help is here. It's called Growing Together Through um, Technology, a program that we started to help our families, our multilingual families, to gain some digital literacy skills. It's funded by the Foundation for Douglas County Schools. This session is being led by Rotheo, an ELD liaison for the district. Right now, she's starting with one family, and then we'll move to a little bit larger um, group. The idea is to do a series of eight workshops, each two hours long. We start with where they are. When we have a larger group, we start with, you know, this is how we turn the computer on, all the way up to, we're gonna do a Zoom meet now. now that's not all. Email, uh, we also go through internet safety, phishing scams. The program even ensures that families have basic internet service at their home. She's very happy because now she's learned the, the first thing she learned was about the Gmail, how to answer, and she's happy that she can answer even the teachers. Ultimately, 18 families will be helped by the grant. Once they complete the program, families get a special parting gift. Yeah, she take it home. <laughs> yeah. A new computer, newfound confidence, and a new sense of being connected. Oh, well, it's so bad that I need to translate that, you know? <laughs> She said, and then I help her a lot, and she's very happy. Then she said, I was able to answer all the questions she have about the school and her kids.